Welcome it's me James Vanketh here on F1 Championship Edition once again here for another career mode video here for the Japanese Grand Prix this time I qualified 22nd this time but I'll tell you what happened I qualified 22nd I was set to go a lot quicker than I, when then I was than I did and uh, what happened was is as I was out of the 130R I got on the grass the grass wasn't a problem, it was just a cone and it spat me off into barriers for some reason. But here we are, back to the race, well, to start the race here. And we're passing a few cars already. Can we get ahead of his teammate here? Yes, we just, just can, yeah. Watch what Villeneuve's doing there, I don't want to... I'm not pushing it here, guys. I'm not looking to finish any higher, you know, than I really should be. I'm just trying to finish this Grand Prix ahead of my teammate. And ahead of what my team expect me to. And if that's something I can't do, what my team expect me to do. Yeah, but, you know, it happens in Formula 1. You can't always finish well. But we've had a couple of good races though, didn't we guys? Where we finished in the points and it's a dry race, thank God for that. It was a dry qualifying as well in, in Suzuka, which was very strange for this game. But here we are, on the... Did I just get a massive tap by Liuzzi there? I did indeed. And Villeneuve and Barry Keller were going at it now. Hopefully we can close in on that, but I don't see us doing it unless we can unless we can get a corner that, where we make a where we can make some time up here, but I'm not good at this track. This is this is my worst track on this game completely and I mean that. I'm not just saying it. It's my worst track on this F1 game. I, I don't understand why I can't get a good grip on it. It was one of these cones here. One of them cones right on the exit of the 130R. And I can't understand why cones spit you off into the barrier on F1 on this F1 game, but you know it happens. And we've completed a lap for once. You know, here in Suzuka, but I hope you guys are having a good day and enjoy will enjoy this video. Hope you enjoy it as much as I will. But then again, it's not hard to enjoy it more than I am, considering I don't like this track, though. But yeah, and the championship's heating up between Michael Schumacher and Fernando Alonso, of course. It's the actual two drivers that went together in the proper 06 season. What's going off up here? What's happening up here? I'm not getting involved in it, but what is happening? Come on, Villeneuve, don't start pissing about. Oh, Albers is passing someone as we pass someone. So does Christian Albers. And I don't mean... Oh, hang on, there's oil somewhere. You watch out like that. Oh, wait, no, it's from behind. Is it Christian Albers? No, it's one of the Aguri Hondas. You know, sad for them in their home Grand Prix that they get a car knocked out of the race. There's Villeneuve right behind us. We've had a few run-ins with him already this season, haven't we? You know, hopefully we don't have any more, but... Hopefully we, we're doing alright. We're not doing too bad. We are holding people up, which, yeah, I don't want to do, but... On the other hand, I'd rather hold them up than let them go. So it's not in me just to let them go if we're racing for position. You know, do his cars pit in mass or even pits and all? I'm not going to hold any of them up. I'm not going to get away through that field, mate, and I can't come up with anything to get come. Oh! We're pitting this time behind Villeneuve's right up my gearbox. Oh, but we've just jumped to Red Bull, haven't we, in the constructors after China, which is a good thing. We've had two points paying races in a consecutive there. You know, uh, Shanghai and Italy, but in order, Italy and Shanghai, but we should be really flat through this part of the corner. I, I was going to be if I didn't touch the grass, but I don't like pushing it on this track because I know I'm not that quick. And I know if I make a mistake, it's going to be disastrous for us. Oh, it's trolley. No, it's trolley. That's not good. We just passed someone. We've just passed someone and now we're off into the gravel and we're down into 14th again, but we're not going to stay ahead of them though, are we? 
That's for sure. We wasn't going to stay ahead of Villeneuve. That's a, that's the uh, Toro Rosso ahead of us, forcing us off track. Thank you for that, Leo. Uh, Scott Speed. Oh, his engine went right in front of me. That's... Wow. That was scary, wasn't it? His engine went right in front of me. Payback for already crashing, you know, bumping me out of the way. That's not too bad. Shame for Scott Speed, though, but... Don't smack the pit wall. Come on, we can... Here we go. I really can't wait to get a better team, to be honest, guys. You know, so we're not at the back all the time. You know, where we're not, you know, uh, having a great performance by actually getting through Q2. And that's brilliant, we've just missed that. Come on. Why did we have to miss that? You know, that's not good. 10.9. Oh, come on, no, Albers, mate. Come on. You know you don't want to finish ahead of your teammate. Is this the first time Christian Albers, our very, you know, talented uh, teammate, is going to finish ahead of us in a Grand Prix? It's looking like that as we run over someone's oil. I think it could be Ralph Schumacher. Yes, it was. 17th place as we're running in, yep. Yeah. Come on, Christian. You know you want to be able to move over for me. But it's alright if he finishes ahead. He needs a good performance, to be honest. You know, we've had brilliant performances, you know, all over the season. We've sort of outperformed Leopsi and then sort of outperformed uh, Christian. But uh, it's about time that I get outperformed by a teammate in one Grand Prix. I'll, I'll make sure it's only just one Grand Prix. Because in Brazil, I'm going to be fighting back. That's for sure, Brazil. I'm going to fight back, try and get some points. Not sure if I can get points, but it's good track for me, Brazil. Good track as long as I stay out of the other, you know, gearboxes of the other cars. But there is a few cars that are going to be pitting, I think. Current top eight positions with two laps to go. Michael Schumacher in fourth, right? Hmm, Alonso fifth. I'm not sure if that's going to be good enough to win the champ, you know, for it to be very close in in Brazil, but there is cars in the pits, but, well, they're retired, I think. Come on, we've got to be able to finish ahead of Albers. We've got to be able to catch him first, though. And considering... It's not my track. We're not even holding E Day up. It's just. Oh no! Come on! We're out of the Grand Prix, guys. Oh Christ! See what I mean by the it comes and the car just drives on. What well, was off track anyway? Right. So we retire before Brazil. Massa wins. Schumacher. Albers finished sixth. Our teammate finished in the point. Congratulations for Christian Albers. Leutzi finished third, so... Right. Okay, so our teammates finally get some points. And the championship, it's, it's on for Brazil. 98 points for Alonso. 97 for Massa. 93 for Schumacher. And we're there. Well, we're there in 13th. With 13 points, our teammate moves up with 3 points. And we are... We're still in 8th. For the drivers champ well constructors championship we're 12th in the drivers our teammate Alba's finishing in sixth that's great news for our teammate and that's a uh, Grand Prix let down yeah that's only his first let down for a while but we're here for the Grand the Grand de Premo do Brazil the final Grand Prix of the season is the next one and I just need to check not the drivers championship the constructors yeah, we, we're still there. Tara Rosso's right there. We can even catch Williams. Uh, BMW Sauber's out of reach, I think. But we are four points back, so... It's not, you know, all over. But here we are. There's the Drivers' Championship. The top two, top, top three drivers. Three drivers now uh, going into Brazil with a shot at winning this championship. We've got 13 points. 
we're going to end the season on a high note, I hope. So thank you for watching this video, and I will see you in my next one.